So that gives you an idea of what this man's up against. 28, who began his uh, pro career back in 1979, before we'd even heard of Paul Hawkinson. So two rounds safely in Hawkinson's possession. Sims' career goes far enough back for names like Jimmy Flint and Vernon Penpraise to appear in it. And they're fighters who've uh, since retired. furthest anybody's taken Hopkinson so far in the professional game is four rounds and that was the experienced Les Ramiki from Croydon Sims can't keep him at long range he wants very much to keep him on the end of the left and he can't keep him out Sim somehow contrives always to be within range. So he's always getting hit. Young fighters are what we call headhunters. They forget that there's a body there to be got at. And uh, constant punching to the body wears a man down almost faster than anything else. sort of ribs that uh, Sammy Sims is going to have tomorrow morning. So another round clearly to the 21-year-old boy from Kirby. Paul Hopkinson. He had a spectacular career as an amateur, which culminated in winning the, the ABA Nine Stone Championship, the featherweight title, at Wembley last May. And in earlier years, he won the ABA Junior title, and he was Great Britain's schoolboy champion. As I said, from uh, came from the same club in Kirby that produced John Conte. He's worked as a phys ed, physical education teacher. And he's got a glittering career ahead of him, if all goes well. And he's got the right man to manage him, to get him good fights, in good company, for good money. And that's what it's all about. Last time Hawkinson fought, it was uh, here in Belfast in October, October the 29th. He knocked out his man then, Craig Windsor, a Scot, in two rounds. Sims again trying to get the left to work. 
trying to get some rhythm into his work, pick, trying to pick a few points up, but he's not going to be very successful there unless Hodkinson tires. And I should think it's unlikely that the 21-year-old will tire before the 28-year-old. of victory in his mouth. We're in the fourth round, and it's uh, round about this time that a young up-and-comer gets really tested because uh, the man hasn't gone so far, and he may have come in thinking he was going to get rid of him quickly, and he hasn't. So then comes the test of character. To see if you can really keep the work together and keep the pressure on. And he does that all right. Six months ago, it took Robert Dickey, the current British uh, champion, five rounds to get rid of Sims. And it's just possible Hawkinson might get it done faster. Sims at the end of this round, taking it all. Game fighter Sims. Bell ends the fourth, and Hawkinson now will have to go a little further than he's been before as a professional. Four rounds, which is what Les Rumiki took him, is the furthest he's been before. Now he must go into the fifth. And that's the round in which this man lost in his bid to get his old title back against Robert Dickey of Wales. He tried to, to win the, uh, the European title against Loris Stecker of Italy. He went to Sardinia to try it, but he was forced out of the fight uh, in the fifth round with a cut eye. Here's another example of the uh, Hawkinson right and left. Another example, Sims is unable to keep him away. So Hawkinson now must go into unexplored territory as far as he's concerned in the pro game. Round five. Hawkinson against the former British featherweight champion. Steve Sammy Sims, 28 years old, Hodkinson, 21. Another little sneak right over the top from Hodkinson. Got to say this for Sims, he's still trying to come forward behind the left hand. Doesn't get much chance to do it, but he's trying. shortly is going to have to ask himself whether he needs this to go a lot further because I don't think Sims has got too much chance and he's gone at last that was a right hand that hit him on the top of the head an overarm right and it had a delayed effect he needs this rest very badly and he hasn't made it he hasn't managed to get up he'd had enough